Hey champions, happy Friday. It is Friday, the last day of this month of July. This week went by so fast. I thank you guys for stopping by my page, Cats to Running to Love, Inspiration. Subscribe, subscribe, hit that subscribe button for me and the notification bell that you will be notified every time a video is uploaded. Thank you, thank you, thank you in advance and share. I thank you so much in advance right now. Thanks for stopping by my channel, you guys. Um, so so, you know, staying on that train of emotion control and we're, we're ending, we're ending. Tomorrow will be the end. Not unless today, we'll see. But you guys just want to, it's such a huge thing because it impacts not only you yourself, but it impacts um, everybody else. And I say you, but I'm pointing to me. So not only does my emotional control affect myself it affects you and the people around around us around me it can affect and impact my daughter my sons my husband um when i go to wherever the market the store in my interactions in this daily life our emotional control or, or lack of it impacts and affects others greatly like you could be driving along and that um Everything is heightened. Everything is heightened. So the flagrant somebody passing in front of you, cutting you off, it's not just, oh, whatever, you know, I can't stand that. It turns into, oh my gosh, you know, there's this rage thing that sort of happens. Um, and I know you guys have, we've all maybe in some sort of way heard of um, road rage. Yep, that is a thing. And that happens. And depending on how we interact and how calm we are on the inside with ourselves, that is what kind of defines how we'll act, how we'll respond to a situation that isn't what? That isn't positive. A situation that we've come into that doesn't have like our best interests at heart and things like that, those things do happen. But gaining control, emotional control, which is a deciding factor in how our behavior, what we demonstrate on the outside. So grabbing hold of that, recognizing that, understanding it, doing something about it is of utmost importance to everybody, to us all. And as we've discussed and as I've shared in previous videos, take a look at those videos. It affects our children. It can have a great and great great effect and impact on our relationships, um, our parenting, um, us as children being a child to our parents, how we respond to um, different things that are going on in their lives and how we respond to one another. And as a whole, um, everybody, it's, it's a united thing. It kind of um, takes growth and takes effect and impacts everybody by and large um, and ourselves even when we stay to ourselves and we keep to ourselves okay I'm not having anything to do with anybody I'm, I'm on my own island I don't interact with anybody you know how I am and what I do you know it's all it, it all affects me and yes it does therefore it's an inward thing right therefore it's an inward thing and it can um, harp damagingly on how you feel about yourself what you feel about how you react how you are as a person what you think about who you are who you're becoming any stride that can hinder any strides that you may have toward um gaining um optimum balance in yourself in your health in yourself <laughs> so within us your health and your well-being whether you feel like you have the desire to go, all of these things culminate one with another and they work in a way to either promote and push or to hold back, decrease and kind of slink down, slink away, you know? So it can have that impendage effect on our lives as well as push us forward and compel and propel us to, um, to have the desire and will to reach goals, to obtain goals, to see and make goals. All of these things work together. Emotional control, behavior control, psychological capacity, the will to do and the will not to. All of those things, they, they take place in residence on the inside. And they also, um, also the environment 
all of that plays into how much drive we have, how much force and fortitude that we have. Now, our environments in no way, shape, or form can um, in and of itself hinder us from, from doing anything, from being all that we want to be. Um, your parents' lives and your your even um, the things that we place ourselves in, they can't in and of themselves singly, but as a a community of things of 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 wills if we wills if you will that turn and move they and themselves individually won't but all together collectively they work to either propel or compel you against and keep you away from things um your your dreams the 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 will and vigor that you have inside to go forward to actually do things they all play a role and play a part in that no one single thing or single aspect in and of itself can do anything or um but it's those things working together. More so, it's those things working together. So I won't say one thing doesn't. It can. It can have a damning effect on you and your personality and how you see yourself and all those things. But most likely and more overall in effect are those things that, that turn um, and, and are like synonymous in our lives that just happen they just happen and we are emotional based we are psychological based we are all of those things in one so to have them working together for the positive the positive benefit of us as opposed to the um compelling and retracting decreasing from us aspect is where we want to go we want to move in the positive aspect of life and a part of that is obtaining containing and holding on to emotional control emotional balance behavior control behavior balance having the will and want to push forward and even in situations where we feel like we we have so much that we're lacking so much that we don't have looking at and having a greater perspective toward what you do have and what working with what you have finding ways to to um to to see things through even past what you physically and tangibly may have at your hand um and what you can do with what you have instead of seeing okay i see that somebody has this and i don't i want to take that well what do you have what do you have in your hand it's something it's something you're able to do something with what you have and when you don't collaborate with others around you use those resources that are placed within your grasp in people in material physical things um because there may be someone in your family right in your family that's better at um sitting down having conversations strategizing with you helping you um to outline and and um see what you can't see because sometimes we we hinder our own selves and not seeing and doing so we have to call on and enlist the help of others and who better family those who have your back who, who love you no matter what um and sometimes even those things come with strings and ties but you know what at this moment we're in a loving place so let's seek help from one another so those things right there will help to work together to put us in a better mind space, a freedom mind space of going forward, of looking forward, of having emotional control, having peace with just semblance of peace, of, of confidence, of courage, and it builds up inside of us the will to want those things and the desire to want those things and to see past our own selves and what, um, and not so much capitalizing on what we myself me myself have to gain but also what others can gain from me you know and i want to give it i want to be a blessing i want to um i want to uh, be of sharing of whatever information that i have and having um that kind of mindset not that it's just the mindset that you want to have of mine but that we all want to do propel and go forward in the things that we are desiring of and the things that um are beneficial to our lives to our family lives to um to the making and molding of legacy of not just community but of legacy you know thinking big thinking broad seeing way out casting the net so far out that it's limitless and that 
is where we want to be. That is where, if that is where you want to be, then stay tuned. Stay tuned and subscribe to my channel. It's all about health and wellness, well-being, and the things to build up to and to lead you into a better path of, of positive thinking, positive self-motivation, get into that place of that place of peace and a place of just moving forward. If you're in a rut, if you feel like, um, you know, I just can't and I just don't want to. I've helped people get out of that place, get out of that frame of mind and that mindset. It definitely takes time and it is a process and it definitely takes more than one, more than you, yourself. You know, have someone come alongside you with support, with resources, being a resource and supportive and all of those things can help for the betterment of our mindsets, of our main frame of self of who we are and what we're giving out to this world that we live in to our families right next to us right we want to be a benefit to one another that is your friday tidbit i'm going to leave with you and a financial tip let's see a financial tip that i'd like to leave with you is that if you're going to be late with your bill payment if you're going to be late because things come up things happen and it's nothing that we can do about it sometimes. Things come up. If you're going to be late, call your creditor. Call your creditor and make a plan. Let them know, hey, I'm going to be late. Blah, blah, blah. I don't care how many times it's been. Call them. They just want to know that you're going to pay. That you have a plan to pay. Um, and they may want to take um, uh, some kind of payment right now that can be charged at a later date. You know what? If you can't do it, you can't do it. But call communication is key they just want to know that you're going to pay your bill it's going to be late okay things happen communicate to your creditor and that's a financial tidbit so that you won't be ding you know you want to make sure that in your conversations somewhere with um with the representative that okay so i'm not going to be charged a late fee you know make things make things straight and make things clear and they may say oh we do have to do this and blah 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 okay but you made the call so this is going to be noted on my account just a tip this is going to be noted on my account get some clarity talk and communicate with your creditor so that's it for me right now i'm about two almost three minutes over and i will see you guys later subscribe subscribe and thank you so much for subscribing thank you in advance if you haven't but you are right now thank you so much touch that notification bell as well and like my youtube channel come back you guys if you like more if this is helpful to you please let me know leave it in the comments shoot me an email trina w at awesome god radio Dot com. That's Trina W at AwesomeGodRadio.com. I like to share with you, pray with you, anything I can do to help you, any resources that I have, any resourceful information that I have, that I'm privy to, it is yours. Look, you guys, I'm out. I'm going to see you guys later. Hey, check out the Surrender to Love as well. I'll talk to you later. Have a great and blessed day.